This corn is covered with snow, waiting for spring in the fields of the cave region. Many farmers have decided not to harvest their crops. It means losses, but it's more profitable than paying for grain warehouses this year. Fuel prices, electricity problems and the conflict with Russia are all contributing to rising export costs. Dmitry Svoyak, manager of a field tractor base, says this year is the most difficult ever. A few miles away, the local grain elevator is preparing to transport the corn dedicated for export. This is the process now. Only when you have a solid contract can you harvest, dry and send your crops to the port. Sending to the warehouses has been cut out of the equation, as it's too expensive now. Here is the corn of the year 2022 harvest. It is about 700 tons here and now. And the grain deal for this corn, in fact, the only way to be exported. Volodymyr Sklerov, manager of this elevator, said his facility is working with the foreign markets only for 20 percent profit. The grain deal has saved his business, reopening some Ukrainian ports for grain exports. Volodymyr's company sold all the grain they had from the last year and is now focused on the internal market. На данный момент сейчас получается отгружаем машин там до 20 штук. Ну, тон 500 мы. Да, тон 500 мы отгружаем. Renewed a month ago, the grain deal saved hundreds of businesses like this. But Ukrainian farming exports still haven't recovered full strength, with exports a third less than last year. Leonid Kozachenko, head of a Ukrainian farming NGO, explains Ukrainians had been expecting better numbers. It's not working as well as we expected. Why? The problem is uh, we have limited number of port terminals. Only three ports, the big Odessa, are working with the grain today. But before the war, the main Ukrainian grain port was Mykolaiv. Now it is too close to the front line. According to Kozachenko, including Mykolaiv in the grain deal was rejected because ship owners are not ready to send vessels into the more dangerous region. Full export operations can be restored if Ukrainians take back control of the left bank of the Dnipro River between Kherson and Crimea. For now, the snow-covered corn will continue to remain in the fields. Slava Kasim, CGTN, Kyiv.